guys, so today I'm going to be filming a glam clubbing makeup tutorial. You can go to a party, to the club, uh, it could be a birthday look. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I created the makeup look. And yeah, so first off, I am just cleaning off my eyes because I did have some residue left over from the previous night because I'm a little bit lazy sometimes. I know we all can be that way. So I'm just going to remove that from my face and... Yeah, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to moisturize my face with my Garnier Moisture Rescue, and I'm going to put this all over, and I'm putting a lot because I have very dry skin right now. Um, so everything I'm using is going to be listed down below in the down bar, just so you guys know if you missed something I said. Um, I'm also going to mix in with that a few drops of my Josie Marin Argan Oil Light Formula just to be more hydrated. So throughout this video, I am pretty shiny, but it does go away. Um, so I'm just pressing that everywhere and then I'm gonna blend it all in and rub it all in and stuff. So I'm gonna be super hydrated and look great after for my foundation. <laughs> but I do look really shiny and I have a honking zit on my forehead, but whatever, it's still here today. Please go away, please. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the e.l.f. concealer and I'm just priming my eyes with it. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and set it too. But I'm just blending this in with my ring finger. I'm going to set that concealer just so it doesn't crease and my colors blend out better with the Smashbox Light Pink Matte Eyeshadow. You can use whatever you have. This is just what I had. Um, and I'm going to pack that on, but you know, whatever. We've got to set it so it doesn't crease and so the colors blend out better and all that jazz. So. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take my MAC Wonder Woman collection and I'm going to take this third purple shade in the palette. It's just a light, or it's a medium orchid shade, and I'm going to take it on a crease brush that I'll show you here in a second. And I'm just going to be putting this into my crease. It appears darker on camera than it did in real life, so I don't know why. Because um, I was just kind of like going with the flow with this look. So like, I did not expect it to look that dark, but whatever. We went with it. So it's just a light, or it's a medium, not light, but it's a medium toned orchid eyeshadow. It had a little bit of shimmer, but it's not really coming through in the look. Like, right now, it was just pretty much a satin finish, I suppose. I'm just gonna blend that until my heart desires and it looks beautiful to me. So I'm just continuing to blend because I'm just crazy. I thought I was doing something else, but I'm just blending like a crazy woman. Okay, now I'm gonna take the darkest shade, which is just a dark eggplant. I'm gonna take that same brush just because why not? And I'm gonna pack this on the outer corner for right now. And I'm basically just packing and packing and packing until it gets as dark and as blended as I need it to be for this particular look. Um, you probably already saw in the thumbnail what my look looks like. But yeah, so I'm just going to kind of blend it a little bit up into the crease, but not too much. And I'm just concentrating it on that outer corner. So blending and blending, and you're going to have a ton of fallout with this look, just so you guys know, so just be aware. That's why I do, that's why I always do my foundation, like, after. Um, I just, I don't know, I always have. So I'm going to take this really tiny, pencil -y, no, it's not even pencil brush, but it's just very tiny, small, precise brush. I'm going to go back into that darker color, and I'm going to go into the inner corner with this. Um, I wanted to try and do like a halo eye and that just didn't work out so um, yeah but still do the inner corner it's just going to be covered up later but still do it because you need that depth um, so I'm just going in on the inner corner being very precise and connecting it back up into the crease and blending um, and yeah just keep blending do your thing it's okay so now I'm taking this really crappy glitter that I thought was gonna work just by itself and it didn't so I'm taking it it's from the Maybelline eye studio thingy I'm just gonna put that there I put it on both eyes just so it was the same and I'm just put over the top of that lash glue to adhere this glitter I'm taking Mac reflex very pink and I'm popping this on top of that lash glue and I'm really like packing it on. So the first eye turned out really, really well. And then I was like, I'm gonna do it on my, my other eye. 
something did not go right there so I had to redo that eye about three different times you're not gonna see that on camera but I just want to let you guys know that like keep trying and don't give up like I wanted to um, just keep going keep working if you have to take it off just take it off it's not a big deal um, and yeah so I'm just seeing I really like the way that it looks of course it still looks like a block of glitter so you need to kind of do some blending so I decided to add more glitter into the inner corner I'm using LA splashes like glitter diamonds or I don't know what it's called but you guys you know so I just put that on the inner corner over some more lash glue and that helped to blend the inner corner and then the outer corner to me was already blended so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this Jordana Fabu liner and go ahead and line my eyes um, and it wasn't too hard to line over this glitter for some reason which is great I'm gonna take this really weirdly shaped brush from Sony Kashuk and I mix these two shades together the one I used in my crease and the very dark shade as well I'm going to take it on the longer side of this brush and I'm going to work it on my lower lash line and I thought I wanted to keep it like this but I ended up intensifying it later. I'm now blending out the edges with that light matte pink eyeshadow from earlier and I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and go straight into mascara. I want to show you guys how amazing this mascara is. So like in the first clip when I started playing it you don't see very much but then the second clip that comes on is like what the heck you got falsies on? No, it's this Black Oil Josie Marin Mascara. Oh my god, I am literally dying. Like, see, I'm so out of focus. I'm, like, not even really in the screen for you guys to see what's going on. But I coated the front and the back of my lashes because I wanted this to be super dramatic. But that really didn't matter. It always looks like this every time I do it. So, like, oh my god, like, look at my lashes. They are so like voluminous they are lengthened they are so black this brush the like wand on this mascara is I'm living for it. it's gold so anyways I was baking at that point so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off all of the excess powder that I don't need anymore there's my weird hairdo going on hope you guys enjoy it now I'm gonna take this brush and I don't know what the heck I was thinking and I was just going to get rid of this clip but I'm gonna show you that I made a mistake so I'm first gonna take this warm bronzer which I probably should have just stuck with but I didn't um, I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna take a more literal gray brown contouring shade that's just doesn't look right it doesn't look right for me so you'll see here in a second when I put this on this brush was great for contouring though but look at this oh my Jesus it is so stark and you're like oh it's just gonna blend out it's gonna blend out that's what I thought too but uh, it was tough it was tough to blend this sucker out um, so yeah look at that oh my Jesus what the heck am I thinking you know like I was like this is gonna blend out and it didn't so I mean it did but it was it took me a couple minutes so I'm taking like my foundation brush eventually to blend that sucker out so yeah that was that don't make that mistake um okay so now I'm just bronzing with that bronzer just to help blend even more and I'm doing it on my forehead and you know on my chin down my neck a little bit all of that jazz and I'm gonna take a another item let me see what it is my blush okay this is the benefit blush in dandelion I love this blush it's a matte baby pink if you are looking for a great matte pink light pink blush this is the one to go for you guys definitely pick this up and try it out I'm gonna go ahead and highlight those cheekbones and my nose and above my eyebrows like I always do um, and yeah, if you wanted to apply falsies with this look, you totally could, but I just love this mascara. I was like, this isn't even necessary because I was going to a party this night, which was actually just a couple days ago for me. So I just want to go all dramatic. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows with my Ulta Brow thingy, my brow tint and medium, I believe is what it's called. And it's just so easy. I should have probably done my brows a little more like glam but I didn't really want to so this is what I decided to do I'm gonna take an inner corner thing and brighten up the inner corners this is by Smashbox I think it's I don't know illuminating something you guys will know it's down there in the down bar um, and I just did that to open up the eyes even more and I'm gonna take this precise brush I didn't pick up any extra pigment but I knew there was some on there because the color is so dark that I used with it and I'm going back underneath to intensify even more um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom mascara as well and then um, let's see what I do next oh I'm gonna move on to lips I think and show you guys what I'm doing there so for lips this kind of got out of focus a little bit but I'm using a Too Faced lipstick right at first and I'm going to go over it with a MAC Viva Glam Gaga. Yeah, MAC Viva Glam Gaga is what I went. 
I think it's just Mac Beauty Glam Gaga one, I think. And um, it was just this little kind of berry pink lip mixture that I thought went well because the silvery glitter kind of made it turn a little more purple and the pink didn't really, I don't know. I tried to use a different pink and it wasn't working. It's more of a fuchsia on my eyes is what I'm trying to say. All right. So this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. All right, you guys. Check out this look. Check out this look. Bye, guys.